Spartan Stadium in its 87th year as the home to Michigan State. But tonight, only the ninth game in the history of this facility. And Brian Kelly, his first game on the road as head coach of the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame, led by his junior quarterback, Dane Crisp. But on the other side of the home field, the number five rusher in the country, Edwin Baker, coming into today's play. And a great defense led by Greg Jones, their All-American linebacker. Michigan State and Notre Dame. While we were away, Mark D'Antonio coming out of the tunnel with the Spartans with number 54, fifth-year senior fullback Josh Rouse, who suffered a neck injury in the opening win over Western Michigan. He had successful surgery this week, and he's happy to come out here and walk out here with a smile on his face as he's one of the honorary captains tonight for the Spartans in a series that goes back 112 years. And we're underway. It'll be Wood from the four. And down he goes at the 24. Quick throw and a crossing pattern by Rudolph. But he only got about six. Greg Jones, the inside linebacker, and Gordon are there. Those two work so well in tandem. So third down at five, empty backfield. Chris, quick throw and a slant. Floyd, the intended receiver, but broken up by Chris L. Rucker. And Michigan State holds defensively. They fake it to him. Cousins comes up. Fires inside the 10. First and goal. As Keyshawn Martin's got the catch in front of Robert Blanton. On second and 10 at the 22. Chris has time. Throws the out. Got it out to Floyd. Floyd lost the ball. Michigan oh. State's got it. Wow, why didn't he pick it up and go? Great opportunity for the Irish after the short punt. Chris throws on the run. He's intercepted at the six by Johnny Adams. Michigan State's got it right back. Boy, both quarterbacks now have made very poor decisions on balls thrown in the red zone or close to the red zone. The field position has been poor the whole first half. Baker, the tailback behind Cousins. They give it to him. He cuts it outside. Got a block. Now yeah, they finally get a running play to work. And a horse collar by Zeke Mata will give him another 15. Trailing by seven. Trying to change that. B.J. Cunningham out in the flat. He's got 15, 20, 25. And almost had enough real estate to cut it up the sideline. Bell, big opener. Le'Veon Bell all the way near the 25-yard line. They had opportunities earlier and threw an interception in the end zone. Now they'll keep it on the ground. Bell with a convoy in front. He's down to the 10-yard line. All alone in the Spartan backfield. Sets the throw to the end zone. Touchdown. Keyshawn Martin. Chris just dumped it across the middle and then took a shot and he's on hands and knees. Up. Now Michigan State starts at its own 26-yard line. Play action. Cousins comes up slinging it and completes the out to B.J. Cunningham. Smile on his face. Turns back to the normal look he has during the course of the game. Oh, a little crack of a smile there. At the 44-yard line. First and 10. Baker. Edwin Baker, he might take it. Baker to the 10, he's gone. <laughs> 56 yards and a flash. For the guy that came in as the number five rusher in the country, number two in the Big Ten, and finally he got a big run. He's done it all this weekend, folks. 
Cousins, quick slant. Oh, what a strike that was to Cunningham. Nice catch, too, by number three. Because that one had some smoke on it. Down in the red zone at the 16-yard line of Notre Dame. Bell again behind his blockers. Touchdown. Wow. I tell you what. This kid's already a big time back. And he's barely found the library yet. Two tight end set. And Cousins pumps. Wanted to go deep. Picks up his blockers. And throws complete touchdown. Cunningham. point away from another tie. Fourth and a huge one for the Irish in their own territory. Here they go. Christ in trouble. He lost the ball. Michigan State's got it. Spartan defense trying to force a field goal attempt. Allen will flush out of that backfield. Chris, quick throw. Rudolph is decked short of the first down. What a hit by Chris L. Rucker. Stop. Fourth sack. And uh, Dan Conroy, number four, standing right next to his coach. It's all on his leg. Well, he made a 50-yarder last week against Florida Atlantic, but that was in Ford Field, indoors, up in Detroit. This is going to be a 46-yard field goal attempt to try to send it to a second overtime. Conroy, it's a fake. Bates is going to throw. He's going to Touchdown! Michigan State wins it in overtime. Two smiles say it all. One's a happy smile and one's a, are you kidding me? You called that. Oh, wow. Aaron Bates to Charlie Gant. I know we're only three weeks into the season, but if you see any more guts than that the rest of the year, give me a call. Wow. Let's go down to Holly. You just have a big grin on your face right now. How much difficulty was well, it to make that decision? Well, we all day. We've got an inexperienced kicker. And, uh, you know, there's a long kick. So we said, hey, let's go. By the way, the name of that play is Little Giants. Little Giants, indeed. What did Coach Kelly say? He just complimented you on the call. Yeah, he said gutsy call. But we've executed all week long, so it's the right time, obviously. Coach, thank Have you. Have a great night, guys. Going to be a pretty good night for Mark D'Antonio. Little Giants, wow. this is a giant of a play. Here's Charlie Gant. He's going to get hung up in here and then released. The holder, Aaron Bates, is a senior. He was a former high school quarterback at John Glenn High School in Ohio. And he throws a perfect throw to a wide open receiver. When a guy's that open, don't try to lead him. Throw <laughs> it right at him. What a way to end this ball game. Little Giants, big results. Wow. Thursday's practice, we weren't allowed to go in there and watch till 4.30. Practice started at 3.30. <laughs> they worked on that play when we were watching film. <laughs> that was a new one. That was something special on a special night. A night game at Spartan Stadium. And it is a happy night. Final score, 35-31. That's going to wrap it up for Tom Blackledge, Holly Rowe, and our entire ESPN crew, Brad Nessler, saying so long. From East Lansing, Michigan, Spartans win.